let's see how it all works, right? So the code itself is fairly simple. We have um, this one big file that has a list of all of the different graph API calls that we use that we run and export the settings. What we need to do is so far we haven't exported devices. So we export, um, we export users, uh, we have users, groups, applications, but we didn't include devices in the beginning because um, it didn't seem like something you would need. Uh, but I got a request today from one of our engineers where, where a request had come through from a customer asking to add devices in. So that's what I'm going to be adding in now. The usual flow is I need to figure out what the API call is and for devices, it's fairly simple. I'll switch over to my demo tenant. Uh, if I go to Graph Explorer, and if you don't hear me, please let me know in the chat um, if the audio is not working. By previous, I tried a stream a few minutes ago and the live audio stream didn't work. Right, so here we know if you do devices, it's a fairly straightforward one. I don't really need to look up the graph API reference. Uh, this will export the devices um, and all of the attributes about the device, right? So it's a fairly straightforward one. Now to add that capability here, I just need to copy, say this, all right? So I do need to know what the minimum permission is to make sure that we have that covered so that you need devices.read.all or directory.read.all. And I think Entra Exporter, we already include, no, we don't include directory.read.all. Oh, we do. Yeah, so there is directory.read.all. So the default permissions should work fine. So if I switch back to this, um let me scroll down there's organization directory roles domains maybe i'll add that somewhere let me collapse b to see what do we have here just the grouping of things just um, to make it easier to see what's happening so we have all of the policies and we have identity governance and service principles, users, right? So I might add devices right at the end, right? So we'll go add devices, right? So it should be fairly simple as copying this. And adding devices let's call this devices i want to get the devices graph api call was it device or devices it's devices with an s uh copilot was helpful there so i'll add it all into a folder so usually we have this folder where um, we have domains, groups. So once we've added this, we should see the new devices folder coming through, right? So devices, uh, nothing to filter. Do I need to expand anything? Let me see. Uh, we do have that physical IDs. Um, I, I think it expands everything I need, so I don't need to add any expansion. This is if I need to get any additional attributes included. So I'm not going to add anything. Uh, what I am going to do though is not add it to the default. So when you just run the command, we don't export everything. So I might create a new tag so that you can export just the devices separately, right? So I'm going to add 
devices as an option. So by default, we only export um, items that are, that have the config tab. So we just want to make sure it runs um, fairly fast. For example, the exporter that I ran before should have finished by now just to get the key settings. Uh, we don't really want to export all the users in large tenants that have like 30,000, 40,000 users. It takes a long time to run. So there isn't much value in exporting all of that. Um, but we will make this an opt-in. So only if you need it, you can say export devices. You, someone can come in and say enter exporter and what's that parameter called? You can say the type, right? So you can say type you can see all that will get all of the different everything um, enter exporter has or you could just say i want only users right the default is config it exports like just the conditional access policies the organization settings anything that's like key settings of the tenant those are included by default um, so i'm not going to add devices to the default because that's just going to blow out the, the time taken when you run it and it doesn't have much value. So we'll add it only for those who need the export and we don't need to include it for folks who don't need it. I'll just make sure it's formatted well. Right, so we've added that. Okay, so let's test it out now. Um, I need to make sure I import so I get the latest version in. Uh, I can now do an export, but this time I'll just say you know, 28 devices. And to just test this, I'll make sure I just export devices. So this didn't exist before. We've added it now. That was quick. So it went through, it ran through the devices and you can see now it's exported you know the this is my demo tenants so i don't have much in there but it has exported all the device config so that was fairly straightforward um we added the feature we added the settings um i should add this in the documentation right so i should add uh, users groups let me add devices to this because we now support devices we've added that in do i need to give any examples uh no we have that that should be fine right and that's it we've added the ability to export devices if i go back here i can see the changes that i did i just need to push this through um just make sure i do the beta yeah right so i added support for support to export devices i'll need to commit to a different branch All right, I need, I'm just pushing it to main because I have permission, but I should have done it as a pull request. I'll do that next time. Cool, so that's pushed in through. Uh, the next is the build process. So let me make sure the new change has come in. Yep, it's coming. There's an automated build that runs and I need to go through the approval process for that. Uh, but that's using some internal systems at Microsoft, so I'm not going to go into the details there perfect thanks for joining in um see you next time so if you get the latest version maybe in about a few, an hour or two hours time mm -hmm. you should see the support for devices added all right thanks a lot folks for joining in um
Cheers, Paul. I'm sure you'll be able to watch the recording. Uh, so thanks, Paul, for trying to join in the last time. Uh, we will, I will make sure that I do it better next time. So in short, we've added the new capability. We pushed the code through. The build is happening. Once it's all uh, pushed through, you should be able to get it from the PowerShell gallery. Um, the latest update should be there when you search. Uh, thanks, Michael. Hey, Michael. <laughs> Good to see you. So, yeah. So the you should see a new update come through in an, in a, in a few hours time when when it goes through all of the approval process and the signing and pushing it out. Perfect. All right, folks, thanks a lot. Thank you for joining in. Um, if you missed the first part of it, feel free to jump into the, the live stream uh, recording. You can see we just added a simple support for exporting devices. Uh, awesome. Thanks for joining in. See you next time. Bye.